So I'm going to bring you to my, my monopoly my, my monopoly analogy. Because essentially, what is capitalism? We live in a capitalist society, at least on paper. But what does that mean? Essentially, in the most basic sense, it's a game of monopoly. Yeah. You go around the board, you collect income, you buy properties, and eventually one person wins. So how do you win the game of monopoly? Well, you either just won one person or a small group of people own everything. Two, before you get there, you break it up and start over. Or three, you flip the board. Right. So I have a big fear that we're just going to skip number, skip number two for sure. We're not going to start over and break anything up. Right. Uh, we're never going to admit number one because it's never going to happen. I fear we're going to flip the board. And when you flip the board, that's chaos for everybody because once that board is flipped, you never want to clean it up. I've, let me tell you, Chris, when I was a kid, me and my brother played a game of Monopoly. It's actually the last game of Monopoly I actually played, probably 11 years old. And my brother was just wiping the floor with me. And his brother Frank, I mean, his friend Frank came over and we were just hanging out and like they're both making fun of me. I eventually just go, F <laughs> this, flip the board. <laughs> and this just, we didn't clean up until my dad came home and was like, who made this mess? Me, I cleaned it up. But I'll tell you, Chris, just a few weeks ago, my dad was cleaning the living room. He found a, he found a hotel underneath the radio. <laughs> so I have a big fear that the, the young people, my generation, they get so fed up with this corruption, so fed up with this system. We're gonna flip the board, and there's no going back once the board is flipped. Yeah, I mean that's that's always been the danger throughout history. Um, and you know, I always say what happens. And again, I go back. To, you know, <laughs> just to give you some historical perspective. I mean, I hate to say this, but the, the, the children of the 60s that were protesting and burning their bras and, mm -hmm. you know, doing the whole thing, guess who's running the country it's now? them. That's the great irony. Yeah. That's the and, great and, irony. And honestly, Chris, now these Gen Zers who are just protesting on TikTok or, you know, gluing their hands to paintings and throwing right. mashed potatoes on them, they're going to grow up and they're going to do the exact same thing. Yeah, exactly. You're, you're exactly right. I mean, pretty soon you're like, hey, I'm not part of the establishment. I'm anti -establishment. Then you become part of the establishment. You get in a comfortable house. You have, drive a nice car, uh, eat at good restaurants. And you're like, wow, man, do I really want to go back and do that? I mean, you know, unfortunately, people are always looking for comfort. Mm 